Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video I am going to speak to you about the carnivore diet because the carnivore diet is something that's growing in popularity across social media. Many many accounts are saying it's the best thing ever and that you should do it. Many many accounts are saying it's the worst thing ever and that you should never do it. So in this video I'm going to break down to you the pros, the cons and then I'm going to give you my experienced opinion as to whether or not I think it's a good and or sensible nutrition approach to use yourself. Although before I break down the pros, the cons and my opinion, let me quickly define what the carnivore diet is. So the carnivore diet is when you consume animal based products such as meats, seafoods, eggs, dairy, and then avoid things such as fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and grains. And that is basically it put in its most simplistic of forms. Now, let's get started with the cons. Although before I get started with the cons, I do quickly want to say, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, then please do subscribe. It helps immensely. And don't just listen to me say this, actually click the subscribe button. Otherwise, let's just get stuck into the cons. And these cons are going to be in no particular order, by the way. And the first con is that it is an unbalanced nutritional approach which I don't think are generally good ideas to follow. And you could probably tell it was quite an unbalanced nutritional approach as soon as I was describing it, because you know, there's no fruits involved, there's no vegetables, which then means you're missing out on essential vitamins and nutrients. And then without all these nutrients, vitamins and minerals, then your body might start to become deficient in a few things. And if your body starts to become deficient in a few things, then that can start leading to illnesses and diseases and that is a route that you probably don't want to be going down. And then point number two, and I guess this kind of merges with point number one, where I was saying that in point number one, it lacks in a few things. Point number two is actually it lacks in fiber as well. And I wanted to give fiber its own point because without the fiber in plant-based foods, then your digestive system may struggle to function correctly, which then can lead to constipation, diarrhea, and other gastrointestinal issues. And then the third potential con is that it's not very sustainable over the long term. And I, you know what? I'm not even just speaking about the carnivore diet in this instance. I could speak about any nutritional approach that excludes entire food groups because following nutritional approaches that exclude entire food groups and trying to do that over the long term is going to be very challenging. So number one, I would say if you have a history of eating disorders, I probably wouldn't opt for a nutritional approach that excludes more food groups. And I think that's potentially something to think about. And then point number two, I would also ask yourself, why are you considering the carnivore diet? Is it for weight loss? Is it for muscle gain? Is it for better health? Because if those are the reasons why, and there are other potential nutrition approaches that would perhaps be a better choice for you. And then number three, it's probably best to ask yourself as well, if you don't think you can sustain this for that long, then why start it in the first place? Maybe opt for something else that you genuinely believe you can stick to for at least six months, let's say. I just quickly want to interrupt this video to give you a heads up about the free fat loss guide on my website. So if you want a free fat loss guide that I made just for you, then click the link that's going to be in the caption of this video, which will then take you to my website. And from there, you can grab it. And now the final con that I'm going to mention when it comes to the carnival diet is that it's not a long-term solution. Now, if you feel like I'm just being very pessimistic about the carnival diet, as I said, bear with me. I'm going to name some pros shortly, but like I said, for now, the final con is that it's not a long-term solution. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of people who do decide to go onto the carnival diet initially decide they're going to start it because they want to lose weight. Now, it may lead to a bunch of initial weight loss due to the restrictiveness and the fact that you're excluding an entire food group. But it's not a long-term solution because as soon as you finish being carnivore, you may then regain the weight and perhaps even more. And the reason why is because you didn't actually teach yourself any sustainable weight loss habits that you can implement for the rest of your life. You just learned to go from maybe one extreme with where you were gaining weight to the other extreme, which was eliminating an entire food group, which again, isn't sustainable. So I would recommend teaching yourself new lifelong skills that you can implement for weight loss if your goal is weight loss. So anyway, those were the cons. Now let's get into the pros. So just like the cons, I'm going to go through these pros in no particular order. And the first pro is that it's high in protein. So as an online coach, I used to be a personal trainer, but I exclusively work online now. One thing I can say is I've worked with various people from around the world and the recurring theme is many people potentially yourself included lack in protein intake that's one thing that many people struggle with but when it comes to the carnivore diet protein intake obviously is no longer going to be a struggle so that can be a very good thing that you get from the carnivore diet and then the second pro is that it excludes highly palatable foods and by this i mean foods that are high in salt sugar and fat such as donuts cakes gelato 
to name a few. And this isn't to say that you should never ever eat those foods because of course those foods every once in a while can be a nice way of just balancing your nutrition and enjoying yourself too. But most people, potentially yourself included in this case, would do well to consume less highly palatable foods than you are perhaps right now. And if you switch to the carnivore diet, then that's obviously going to help with that. And then the third and final pro that I'm going to mention is that it removes decision fatigue. So many people love to have the choice and they don't like to feel restricted, but there are a few people out there who, if you just like remove many options, it makes life a lot easier for them. And when it comes to the carnivore diet, you know exactly what you're going to eat. It's either going to be some sort of seafood, some sort of meat, some sort of dairy products, or even eggs. So again, there's just no decision fatigue with it. And overall, that is it for both the pros and the cons. Now, I do want to emphasize that that was not a be-all and end-all list. If you watched this video and you can think of more pros or you can think of more cons, then feel free to leave them as a comment below and I'm more than happy to interact with you about that. And now, otherwise, to give you my experienced opinion, I do believe that when it comes to the carnivore diet, the cons outweigh the pros. And in fact, I'm not a fan at all of the carnivore diet. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't see where it's a necessary approach for nutrition. And that's not to say that it's not going to work for anyone. I'm sure there's always someone out there that a carnivore diet could perhaps work well for, but generally speaking for most people, potentially yourself included, I do not think it's a good idea. And the reason why I still mention pros, even though, as I told you, I don't like it, is because I always like to look at things from a subjective point of view, as I do believe that's what my job as an online coach does involve as well and it's not to just immediately shut everything out so again i'm always going to weigh out the pros and cons when it comes to specific subjects although ultimately it's entirely up to you as to whether or not you tried the carnivore diet maybe you've tried it before and if you have tried it before and you've got experience in it then let me know how it went in the comments below whether it was a negative or positive experience and uh, otherwise i do hope you enjoyed this video and remember if you want that free fat loss guide the link for that is in the caption of this video if you want to hear me speak about more subjects similar to this then do check out my podcast which is the leo alvis podcast on both spotify and apple podcasts share this video with your group chat like it again subscribe to the channel and actually subscribe don't just listen to me say that and not do it because your support helps a lot and otherwise take care and i'll see you around